Kate and Prince William won pack after boarding school Prince George next year, according to royal commentator Duncan Larkham. He said, it's my understanding for some time, possibly even before George was even born, was that William was quite keen that any child he had wouldn't be packed off to boarding school. Mr. Larkham noted the Duke of Cambridge did not have a bad experience during his years of boarding school. However, he may still be keener on keeping his young son at home for years to come. Speaking to OK! Magazine, the expert continued, Eaton for William and Harry WASNT an unhappy time, apart from the fact it was when their mother died, which means William doesn't blame the school or the experience of boarding. But HES never intended to have his kids as full-time boarders and if George does go to a school that offers it, he'll likely be a day boarder. Speculation over Prince George attending a boarding school started to swell as his eighth birthday approaches. This is because both Prince Harry and Prince William were enrolled into a boarding school after they reached that age. Another royal commentator said Kate and Prince William will likely take into account their children's personalities and whether they are happy in the current schools. She said, we're used to seeing the royals breaking with tradition these days so it won't be a huge shock if they do things their way. I think William and Kate's view will be, if the children are happy in their school, why change things? Prince George and six-year-old Prince Charlotte are currently attending Thomas Battersea School. This prep school takes children aged between 5 to 13. The younger brother Prince Louis started attending Wilcox Nursery, nearby Kensington Palace, in April. The three-year-old was photographed by Kate on his first day of school. In the snap, shared on his birthday, the little Cambridge had a huge smile while he was on a red balance bike. Three generations of British royalty in recent history were educated in boarding schools. Famously, Prince Philip attended Gordonston in Scotland and decided to enrol there his three sons too. Prince Harry and Prince William did not attend Gordonston, which had been hated by Prince Charles. Nevertheless, aged eight they started attending Ludgrove School in Berkshire. There, they were often visited by their mother Princess Diana. Once they reached the age of 13, they moved to Eton, just a brief walk away from Windsor Castle. The proximity to the Queen's residence made it possible for Prince William to often have lunch with his grandparents, according to royal author Robert Lacey. These meetings provided not just an intimate moment between grandparents and grandson while Princess Diana and Prince Charles were going through a bitter separation, but also gave the chance to Prince William to be introduced to his future role, the author said. Describing the lunches between grandparents and the now Duke of Cambridge, which contributed to strengthening the bond between the young heir and the monarch, Mr. Lacey wrote in his book Battle of Brothers, Pudding Ended, Philip would make a discreet exit, leaving his wife and grandson together in the panelled oak room with its six-arm chandelier hanging over the table in front of Queen Victoria's beautiful Gobelins tapestry of the hunt. In this splendid and historic but also intimate setting, grandmother and grandson, monarch and future heir, 